what's up guys and welcome back to another EVE Online video. Uh, today we are not on WAD, we're on a new Alpha tune, and we're going to have a crack at the uh, Sisters of EVE Epic Arc uh, with a very low skilled Alpha account uh, just to see basically whether we can do it. Um, we're in a Cormorant. Uh, let me explain a little bit why we're doing this. Basically I was I was setting up a, um, a new tune uh, and a new account to go and do something um, elsewhere in New Eden. But as I was going through the process, I thought I haven't haven't really seen the new player experience for quite a long time, and it's changed quite a lot. So I thought I'd just go through it and see what uh, the game is like for a new player these days, how accessible it is, and that kind of stuff. So I've been through all the tutorial bit, which is quite good fun, um, and I've done the opening uh, career agent missions because I just think that's a good idea. But also just trying to follow what naturally the game tries to get you to do as part of the new player experience. And so that's kind of what happens. You do the tutorial. It then kind of heavily suggests you do the story, the um, uh, career agent missions. Uh, but then you're kind of unleashed on the world, right? You've got, you're then left to your own devices. And I thought, well, okay, I'm a new player. What what do I do next? What what do I, what happens? And basically, you know, you're introduced to the opportunities window. And you've got your daily goals. And then front and center, right at the top, you have this epic arc. The sis Servant Sisters of Eve, the blood Bloodstained Stars. So it feels like a natural thing to then go and do. And I, like I've done this epic arc a couple of times. It's good fun. It's really useful for later on in the game. But it's clearly also targeted at new players. So, all right, let's give it a go. And just to prove that this is a, essentially this is possible from day one. Um, I have total skill points, um, 957,000. So I've got less than a million skill points. So you could skip everything I've just done and just go crack on with this. Uh, because you can get your 1 million skill points if you use a referral code. So any brand new player can start the game with at least 1 million skill points. I've got a referral code down in the description to get that million skill points if you haven't already got one. Um, but also, like my recommendation, just create your own from one of your existing accounts uh, for, your, for your old. So yeah, less than a million skill points. And how have I um, associated them? Again, just trying to get in the mindset of a new player. Um, I've just been on the certified plans and I basically I've kind of worked left to right on the certified plans so I've completed these two I've completed the enforcer tracks and I skipped industrialist because I, I decided I want to go down the combat route and now I'm completing these two skill plans and that's it that's all I've done I've not used my knowledge of the game to go and start putting skill points into the magic 14 anything like that I've just popped skill points in based on the skill plans and then how did I decide what ship I wanted to fly for this well in the fitting window having a look around uh, went to opportunity uh, com sorry community fittings here um, and I'm Kaldari so I went to community fittings and then looked for a few um, Kaldari ships and then oh look under Cormorant there is a community fitting created by Mama Care Bear um, called Tech One Sisters of Eve Epic Arc. So that's literally what I've done. I went to um, went to Jita. Uh, this shows you um, how new this tune is. Keep getting spammed with these offers. Yeah, went to Jita, picked up this fit, which uh, at the time cost me about 4.2 million. Which, uh, if you've done all the career agent missions, you have about 10 million in cash, so no problem at all. Got all the skills to fly it already because of the uh, the um, things we went through up here and yeah basically ready to go the only thing I did is added more ammo so instead of 1120 uranium charge I've got 13,000 um, because I want to I don't really want to go back to to market partway through the arc and that's it basically I want to see whether a brand new alpha account just by following the really obvious stuff in the new player experience um, can go and run the first epic arc, the Sisters of Eve. Um, so that's what we're about to go do. 
I'm not gonna. I'm obviously not gonna show the entire epic arc. Uh, it's a uh, very long. It's something like 51 or 53 missions or something. So I'm not gonna show all of that. But uh, if we come up, if if I come up against bits that are a bit challenging, um, or actually find I can't do or anything of interest as we go through it, obviously that will be in the video, and uh, then a, a bit of a summary at the end as to how we got on. So yeah, without further ado, basically to get here, if you are actually a new player. If you click on this uh, in the opportunities, you click on the epic arc. It gives you all the storyline missions. So like, there's loads. Like, so there are seven chapters, and chapter one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chapters uh, missions in it. Loads. Um, but if you want to find out where to go, you can right-click on Sister Alajura in here, and um, there would be. I'm already here, so there isn't. But there'd be a set destination button, and then you can just fly out to here. And then when you get here, just uh, start conversation. Uh, my recommendation is, this, is if this is the first time you've done this, uh, read all of it, read everything. It's a really good uh, story. Um, some great lore stuff for New Eden through here. So I thoroughly recommend it. Um, but we're going to crack on. You can see the rewards. So this should be quite lucrative. Again, if you're a brand new player, this whole epic arc gets quite good. There are some quite good rewards throughout, not just cash, which I will touch on as we go through it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to uh, just crack on with this and to see you when there's anything uh, interesting. By the way, if you've, uh, if you've not run uh, epic arcs or cosmos missions or anything before, you might not know that you can get agents in floating in space. They're not uh, docked in stations. Um, this is just the second mission on the uh, Angel Epic. Uh, sorry, the Sisters of Eve Epic arc. And um, yeah, if you want to be able to talk to these guys and get missions and stuff, you literally just select them or their ship in space and then start conversation the same way, and everything happens the same. Uh, but yeah, just in case you're brand new to that, thought I'd mention it. So we're heading back to Sister Alitura now, having um, finished the first little set of mission missions with um, I've already forgotten. Oh, Tevis Jack. Um, so yeah, we've done one, two, three, four, and we're just doing our fifth mission. And just popping in to say the ship certainly hasn't disappointed. Um, a couple of these are combat missions, and I mean we just one shot everything. I know it's supposed to be easy; it's early on. But this ship, from uh, 18 kilometers out, literally just one shot everything so far. And remember, I'm not like this is a brand new, this is a new account. I got less than a million skill points, so looking good so far. But let's uh, let's see how we go. Warp drive active. In fact, let's see how she performs in this mission together. There should be another one where we've got to kill some pirates and get um, get a janitor who hopefully will just pop into our cargo hold. Oh, there's a, a lot of stuff on here, that's annoying. Anyway, um, I need to change my overview. They're all within 18k, so let's lock and fire and see what happens. Blapped. Blapped. Oh, your targets, yeah. I'm just going mining instead. Better overview. Okay, so there's a shuttle that we've got to go and get him out of. And also, this is the first time the Rex have dropped um, any loot. So again, if you're a brand new player, go and loot these. Because uh, you can use the use the, the stuff to make that little bit additional uh, cash. It won't be worth much at all. But it all adds up. I mean, if you really want to, you could um, bring a fit with a salvager or something and actually clean up after yourself, but that's a bit overkill. 
But yeah, I mean, the combat mission just absolutely blitzed it. Uh, so this this ship is looking good so far. Um, thank you to, I think it was Madam Care Bear. Okay, and so just checking in. Um, we've completed Chapter 1, um, and we've moved over to Galente Space, because that's now um, how it works. Chapter 2, we're over here in Galente, about to talk to this new agent. Um, and yeah, I mean, this ship and with these skills has just absolutely blitzed um, Chapter 1. Absolutely no problem at all. So, so far, it's looking good. Um, I'm going to talk to this person and get cracking with Chapter 2. The rewards... Um, there's been nothing special yet, it's just small amounts of cash, but again, if you're brand brand new um, to the game, uh, we've uh, come close to earning back the price of this ship just from Chapter 1, so uh, no reason not to do it. Uh, and on that note, I'm going to carry on. So once you get to Mission 24, you're given a choice. It's the first choice in the, in the arc. There are a couple of these as you move through. There's no real uh, difference in the choices at this stage, uh, just the mission path for the next three missions varies. For the first one, you go, so if you go tracking the Queen, you go up against Mordu's Legion. If you do Bag of Blood, you up go, go up against the Serpentis, I think it is. Yeah, Serpentis. Um, I th no, you don't have to kill anything on either of them unless you want to, so no negative for choosing either. I believe tracking the Queen has slightly slightly higher payout so i'll probably go track and the queen if you select that and go accept this choice it'll start or um if you hadn't if you hadn't chosen and went accept this choice uh then you would uh it would randomly pick it for you so i'm going to go track and the queen and we'll carry on through so, mission 28 is supposedly the first kind of challenging one. So I figured, <clears throat> let's see about going through this one together. Give the uh, fit a real test. So burning down the hive, we've got to go and uh, remove all drones in Arnon. So let's do it. Uh, but let's burn into these. Start taking them out. I've got a range of... 24 kilometers. The mysterious the cruise has gone through the gate, so that's okay. Let's burn straight at that one. So far, I mean, like you can see the the damage that this thing is capable of putting out. Um, so this first room is not causing a problem at all. And let's just start burning towards the gate. We blitz through all of this. Tracking's an issue here, right up close. The angular velocity is high, but as we pull away, we should uh, start striking them. There you go. All right, first room done. Reload, turn that off. Save some capacitor. No challenge there. Didn't need to do any kind of special piloting, just burnt straight at the rats. Drive active. And fired. Okay, there's a lot more in this one. We could test whether we can just use the gate. Turn this back on, start shooting them. Can I the gate. No. Doesn't look like it. Um, yeah, I mean, something, if you're new, something you'll want to do here is just um, try and take on the two groups separately. Uh, there's no point pulling aggro from all of them unless you're really confident. You can see why. So I've taken those out and while I finish off the last three I'm gonna head down towards this group and I'll start locking them up so we clear the rest of these 
And now I'm going to start drifting to the gate now that I'm in closer range on these. I'm webbed, okay. So the strain invest... Okay, so there's a couple of elite frigates. These ones with strain in the name are elite frigates. And they will have E-War. So the strain infester Alvi is um, webbing me at the moment. So I'm going to turn on my afterburner and start trying to pull a little bit of range while we take them out. They've got a lot better resists and stuff than the uh, than the non-elite as well. So if you can take them out first, take them out first. If you can't, it's possibly better to go after other stuff just to remove some of the DPS from the field. So I can take out this raider without too much problem. And then go back to that. See if we can hit... Uh, we do have a problem. If I go static, can I hit them? No. So we're going to have to warp out here, I think. Because um, we're not webbed, so if we warp out we can just... Uh, Uh, go repair and come back in. But that means it is slightly more challenging uh, than the other sites for sure. Just because I can't hit the uh, elite drones at the moment. this so it doesn't rep at all there we go now we'll warp out warp drive repair active. and come back and try again uh, interesting so that is challenging the tracking is um, is not great so when they're really up close and have got me webbed so I can't keep my angular velocity down I'm really struggling to hit the elite frigates uh, so we'll dock here you can just stay tethered in your repair um, but we're going to dock, and then as soon as you undock, your fully your shield will be fully repaired. Okay, so we've now got to burn back through the site, through all the gates. Um, we should have piloted that one better. So um, I didn't actually notice the elite frigates to begin with, but what we should have done is try to kite them a little bit. As mentioned, we've got 24 kilometer range, uh, but they will can only web up to kind of 10 kilometers. So what we should really do is try and hold a range um, outside of 10 kilometers uh, while we shoot them and then they just can't web us so we'll give that a go um, now but that's really what we should have done to begin with so if you're coming in to do this in this ship should definitely try and kite them keep them at range and shoot them okay i'm just going to skip forward till we're in that room okay so as we land we are several kilometers off them, so if I now lock, drift towards so that we can just get start shooting at them, but then try and keep range, go after this one and shoot. They were hitting and hitting quite hard from because we we're actually able to shoot them. And there's no web on us right now. Do the same with the next one. See, they're moving at 449, we move at 536, so you should always be able to keep out of range. 449 was their max speed. So I just flew that really badly. Um, it should be a lot easier than that as long as you actually fly it correctly. And go after the strain vessels first. In each one in each group. Um, there's, there was one in each group, so don't go after one then after the other. Go after one, do their group. Go after the other, do their group. Warp drive active. I believe the third room is supposed to be easy again. Um, there's no strain stuff. The mysterious drone just blew up. But there is a cruiser. So no strain, but there is a cruiser. So I'm gonna I'm actually gonna get in a bit close on the cruiser. Probably not a good idea, but Let's see. It would be nice to be faster. It takes a while to close the gap on these things. 
Is he in amongst the, he's in amongst the rock? So I'm actually going to orbit uh, 15 kilometers. We have an 18k optimal, so there's no damage fall off when you're within. Uh, if you go up to 18 kilometers. Okay, here we're closing in. Start shooting. Get their attention, probably. Just keep working through them. So we should enter orbit now, we're about 15k. And they can't shoot us, we're out of range. Frigates are slightly faster than us. Cruiser is not. Hmm. Interesting, you don't have to kill the cruiser to complete the mission. So if you are struggling with DPS um, or just struggling to kill him, uh, you don't need to. Just kill everything else. I'm going to because of the bounty, but there we go. And then dock up, and we're done. Orb drive active. Lovely. So we're quite a long way through the arc now. Where are we? Interesting. There we go. We're in chapter six, talking to Doctor Canius. So getting pretty close to finishing, but he requires us to do some hacking. Um, they will give you the civilian relic analyzer, so we'll just um, we'll just refit it here. There's no reason why we can't. I'm going to uh, take off the extender, put that on, and then come back to him with the with with it and refit. But I'm not expecting any combat here, just a bit of hacking, but we'll see. Um, but I've kept the hardener instead of the uh, other, uh, the extender. Okay, so there are some rats. Turn this on and see if they start aggressing. Because they're going to be quite challenging for this ship. So let's see what happens. They are aggressing. But we might have to clear them first. Let's see how we go. Whoop! Not what I meant to click. Going after the Corpy Seeker because of the um, uh, tracking disruptor. Let's try and keep a bit of range while we fight them and play it a bit more sensibly so that we reduce the incoming damage. Seems to be progressing easily enough. I believe if you were worried about it, you could come down in your regular fit and then go back and re, um, refit for the hacking. But it looks like it's unnecessary. So I'm actually going to start hacking now to orbit this at two and a half while we shoot the other one. difficult to get close enough to loot it. There we go. So I've got that now. Yeah, so not too bad. Um, drive obviously as soon as we started sitting still we ended up in a spot of bother. But um, obviously just don't do that until you've cleared the rats. Okay, and we've um, 
made it through to the last few missions uh, and these are supposed to be a little bit more uh, challenging than the others you can see here chapter 7 run to chasing shadows these are a little bit more challenging um, so I thought we'd just go through this final bit together uh, hopefully it won't take too long um, and just see how we get on again so chasing shadows is the first one that is really quite challenging uh, and we will take a different approach this time so when we land um, we'll see a few frigates and a battle cruiser which is obviously quite a big powerful ship um, and the battle cruiser also has some e-war it has newt and it has uh, tracking disrupting so it affects our weapon systems um, and they can they quite uh, go out to quite a good range so what I'm going to try and do to begin with is lure the frigates away from the battlecruiser, uh, pick them off, and then go in. Uh, there's then another spawn, we'll kill that, and then um, then go in close and get really up close to the battlecruiser. Um, because he should be of a size that we don't have too much issue tracking. So we do start quite close to him, so we're just going to burn away and shoot these things as we go see how we do. One, two, three, four, and five. And then three more should spawn. There they are. And I'm actually now, so there's the new and the track and disrupt. I'm going to burn in as quickly as I can while shooting these other ones because the new is going to get me quickly. It's a uh, quite intense so I want to burn in as close as I can to him and into orbit at 500 but we'll just keep an eye on our stuff here shoot this there is no um, shouldn't die because there is no what's it called um, warp scram or anything so we can we can just warp away if we feel we're in real trouble but we're now going to try and close range. He's travelling at 300, we're travelling at 544. But can we get in range quickly enough to not die? Probably not. Keep burning. Close, 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 close that gap. We're doing a good amount of damage to him. But I just need to close that gap so he can't hit us anymore. Sped up. We're going to go into armor here, but I'm still confident we can get close enough to not need to warp out. Not proving to be the case at the moment. There goes, started missing us. So that's working okay. I'm going to kill the afterburner briefly. I'm going to turn on the afterburner and kill that. The capacitor is empty. Turn my weapon system back on. The capacitor is empty. The capacitor is empty. The capacitor is empty. So our weapons require a capacitor. <laughs> the capacitor is empty. We are too close for him to hit us. The capacitor is empty. But we might need to warp off just to save a bit of time. The capacitor is With empty. The capacitor. That's very frustrating. The capacitor there. is empty. The capacitor is empty. Oh. The capacitor is yeah, empty. No good. We're gonna have to warp off and uh, try and warp drive active. The capacitor is empty. Try and recharge our capacitor and come back and take him on again a separate time. But you can see you don't need to panic. If you lose your shield and stuff, don't panic. Um, just manage. Keep an eye on what you're doing and manage it. Uh, but no, we couldn't, um, because of his nuke pressure, we couldn't uh, take him on directly, because our weapon system switched off. So just one thing to check is if there's any player-owned structures like this one we can go to, because you can repair for free in player-owned player structures, so... We will go to this one 
uh, and dock and repair in there and then come back. All right, we're now fully repaired and warping back in. Um, we should have no problem taking them out before getting neutered out or any uh, large damage this time. Uh, what I will test though is orbiting at kind of my optimal, so orbiting around 15 and just seeing. Oof, it's a long way off now. Uh, and just seeing if um, his newt does reach out that far. But we'll see. It's a long way off, which is a bit frustrating now. We have to close in. So he hasn't even locked us yet. Maybe we will in a second. Okay, so his newt is reaching out to 15, no problem. So that will have an impact. We're doing enough damage that it shouldn't matter, um, because we'd already already hurt him a bit, but let's see. That newt is really putting in some work. What if I change that to greater range? The capacitor is empty. So there's track and disrupt the capacitor is, off, is empty. Still on. The capacitor is empty. All right, that's a, that's very the much a problem with this fit. Good to know. The capacitor is empty. The capacitor is empty. You can just keep muting us. The capacitor is empty. At this range. The capacitor is empty. And he has armor rep. The capacitor so. is empty. So, before we try changing the ship and everything, um, we've changed the ammo type. We've gone, I've gone and picked up some iridium charges which has increased our optimal and fall in fall off range sorry um, so we can keep a much greater range and hopefully stay outside of his newt uh, while remaining uh, while, while keeping up some kind of DPS it's obviously less than the uranium but it's a lot more than the iron so let's see how we do and just see if we can slowly grind him down from out here just work through it It's not bad damage so far. We're only on a shield, of course. Uh, I do want to move in just a little bit more than that. So let's push in just a touch. And I want to set orbit current. And hopefully we keep just out of his the range of his, his other stuff. because we're not, there we go, entering orbit now. We're just slowly grinding him down. So that, something to bear in mind for this mission, um, with this fit, because of the newt pressure, it's best to stay out of his newt range, so we'll need to reduce DPS, but go for a, um, go for a ammo type that has a sufficient range. So in this case I've gone for Iridium. A big chunk of rep come in there, but hopefully we can break through it. We may need to do the same slightly later on for Dagon. Although he hasn't got newt, I don't think, so we'll probably stick with uranium for the later mission, but we'll see. We'll get to that together. If we don't uh, kill him before we run out of this clip, that'll be a little bit frustrating because then he'll then wrap up through my reloading time. Oh, 
we're making reasonable progress. I'm going to turn off that because it's just missing. There we go. Uh, he goes straight into our cargo hold so we can just dock immediately. I'm uh, going to go back to uranium for now until we decide we need the range again. And now we um, get into the interesting stuff. So that was a challenge. Um, we tried a couple of different approaches to, to take him on and it didn't work and so we changed it up to increase range. Now we need to select which faction we would like to gain all of the standing with, which is important. It's the, pretty much the reason for running this epic arc. Docking permission um, requested. I'm going to do it with Docking Kaldari accepted. because um, this is a new tune. Uh, it's always useful to have Kaldari standing so you, you can go and do stuff in Jita. Um, I may uh, up their standing at other with other base uh, other factions at different times, but for now I'm going to go Kaldari. So that's done. The missing piece, you hit request, and then you have to make your choice about which faction you want to go for, and that's who all your standing is going to go to. I'm going to go with Kaldari and accept, and then I have to go to him, who's just a couple of jumps away, uh, five. So obviously you'll rejoin me there. Okay, and so this time we're going to take on Dagon, which is the third and final of the uh, challenging missions. Warp drive um, active. The reason this one is challenging uh, is primarily because of the amount of DPS you need to deal to break his tank. Um, <clears throat> he's in a, a, a very well tanked ship, uh, particularly in EM and thermal, and you need. To, they also rep. So, what we're probably going to do is take out the. Um, escort frigates and then go after Dagon uh, himself interesting um, but I'm gonna go in close again this time because he doesn't have e-war uh, and basically try and just apply as much DPS as possible to him uh, what I probably should have done is picked up antimatter charges which have a higher DPS overall, but we'll see we'll see how we do. Lock up the other three, but I want to get in close to Dagon. Uh, let's start firing on him. So you can see we're doing very small amounts of damage. His tank is extremely high, and he does uh, rep as well. But let's just see, this might just take a while. We might just get in close orbit and take a while to kill him. Um, I'm going to swap to the escorts while they come in close. And turn off my afterburner to support the track weapon tracking. And hope we keep range. Take them out. Dagon's repped himself all the way back up. And now we're just going to sit here with our weapon system turned on and see if we manage to kill him before he kills us, basically. But again, there's no E-War, there's no warp scram or anything, so if you find yourself in trouble, you can warp off. Try again. If you haven't got enough DPS, warp off, buy different ammo, try again. But yeah, if you're going with this fit, I would probably recommend going antimatter ammo um, as that would increase our DPS overall. Let's just quickly simulate it. Uh, we currently have 121 grand matter on, then it goes up to 146. Or if you really wanted to, you could faction it. Um, but that is a little bit more expensive. But you know, Kaldari Navy antimatter would definitely get us through this, no problem. system for us to go by but maybe we'll go two jumps and buy some if we struggle to get through his tank it's now 229 I'll probably speed up as we go through this just work our way through it OK, 
Okay, and after seven minutes of orbiting him, we've killed him. Uh, as you saw, literally just orbit and shoot for um, until you're done. Uh, we didn't really get close to uh, running out of tank. Uh, he was missing us. Uh, so just orbit and shoot uh, till you get through him. If you have anything less than this 120 DPS, I don't think you would break it. So my recommendation would be to go and get um, antimatter charges uh, to increase your DPS that little bit. That should make the whole thing quite a lot faster because, as, as mentioned, that took us a full seven minutes. Um, so now we're going to go and drop off uh, Dagon and complete the whole um, the whole epic arc. Here's Adani. Start conversation. Complete. And last mission. Deliver Dagon to that ship. Close warp. Warp drive active. So basically we've learned the ship is is capable of doing it, um, even with the low skill point pilots. So uh, no problem for a new Warp player active. joining the game to head down this route. Um, there are probably better ships and fits uh, for this, but this one managed it all. If you pilot it correctly um, and get the right charges and stuff in, then it all happens. Uh, all happens nicely. Head to the cargo wreath. There's a battleship from each of the major factions here. Armageddon, Tempest, Raven, Dominix. And the prison transport. We'll see our tiny little destroyer come in in a second. What's appeared out of nowhere. Deposited. They've gone. Warp drive active. Time to collect our final reward, which is uh, a million isk and a whole bunch of faction standing. Uh, we'll see when we get the million. Um, we're, we're, after running the arc, we're up to. We'll be over 20 million, which is which is good. Um, when we started, before buying the ship, we were at 10 million. So then buying the ship and running it all has doubled our money. So can't ask for much more than that. I think. Done. Finished. 20 million, and the big one here is you'll see the. Uh, if we go into here. The Kaldari state increased massively, 0.746. So, which means we can now run level 2 missions if we're getting close to the level 3 missions, which opens their epic arc as well. Um, so, that's that's what I, yeah, basically we've, we've done it. Um, the ship was perfectly capable of doing it, low skill pilot, and we just basically followed the new player experience and ended up here. So, uh, all pretty successful. Yeah, uh, being a new player in Eve isn't isn't as hard as it used to be. That's for sure. Uh, and I'm hopefully it's a more accessible game, and we can keep players coming. Um, also, make sure you go and check out if you've made it this far uh, in the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being uh, this uh, this cool. And you're obviously 
we want you over at just about to come and join that community so make sure you hit the the link in the description and come talk about see what I'm talking about um, I was already creating this video but then they posted a bounty uh, asking specifically for this type of thing so I, I lucked out and you maybe you can too so come on over uh, thanks very much for watching guys I really appreciate you sticking with it and I will see you all in the next one cheers